So I can tell you this, and this is going contrary to what like, Google says and what everybody's saying. Hey, what's up, agency owners? Jay Swank here with another episode of the Smart Agency Masterclass, a podcast for the agency owner that wants to hear other amazing agency owner stories. Imagine that. And on today's episode, we're going to chat with Jake, who runs an agency, and we're going to talk about how to turn views on your videos. And yes, you should be doing videos, but a lot of you are not. But we're going to talk about how to turn your views into paying clients. So let's go ahead and jump into the show. Hey, Jake. Technical glitches, right? I was like, I push this damn button. It should work. But welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, so thanks for having me, Jason. I could relate, man. The tech issues happen. It's a real well, thing. And I was just telling you, I was like, we're coming up on our 10-year anniversary of the show, and we hardly ever have any glitches. I'm like, really? I just hit the button. I know I'm hitting the right button. Hit the damn button, and it doesn't work. But that's okay. Welcome to the show. Tell us who you are, what you do. Awesome. Good to be here. My name is Jake Larson. Uh, I own the, the agency Video Power Marketing. We also hit our 10 years in business and we help people grow their business using video ads. So we, we run a lot of YouTube ads, Google and uh, Facebook video ads. But I, I, you know, our sweet spot is definitely on YouTube. And, you know, we've cracked the code as far as getting views and turning those views into clicks, those clicks into leads and those leads into, you know, customers or clients. So it's been a fun journey. Well, let's not beat around the bush because I, you know, we put out so much content and I feel like we could get a lot better views. We've actually brought in some new people on our marketing team to do this, but let's talk about why are people not getting the views that they should be getting? Yeah. So one, well, I think it goes down to the platform. So one, there's a couple of things that I really like about YouTube that I think it's really unique compared to other advertising platforms. The first one is you're getting like a high quality view. So a view on YouTube is like if the viewer watches half the ad or 30 seconds, whichever comes first. So like, again, you could have a 30 second view that's counted as a view. And when you compare that to Facebook and Instagram, like Facebook, Instagram, I believe it's five seconds, maybe three seconds. TikTok's a second. So if you sneeze on TikTok, it's a view, right? So one, you're getting a higher quality view on YouTube. The other thing that makes it really unique is the ability, it's, it's intent-based, right? So because Google owns YouTube and both Google, like Google's the biggest search engine and YouTube's the second largest search engine, you can target people based on what they're searching for on Google. So mm -hmm. if somebody goes to Google, then they type, how do I grow my marketing agency? Or how do I grow my lead gen agency? And then they go to YouTube. They could be watching a video about cats, but because there was that signal from Google that they're interested in growing their agency, bam, up pops Jason's ad. Hey, you know the biggest challenges when it comes to growing your marketing agency? Like, And then you just... It's such a highly relevant audience to message ratio. And it just makes it so easy to put those two together. So, yeah, I, um, you know, we did a lot of advertising back in the day on Facebook because uh, a lot of the audience was over there. And a couple of years ago, I, we just stopped. And I got so fed up with so many of the ads that I would see. And I've actually started doing some shorts of my response to some of these ads which is always fun. Like my team will send me, Hey, what do you think of this? Film yourself doing this. And I'll film it. And it'd be like, Hey, I promise you 40 leads every day. And if not, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, what kind of crap? Like, and literally it makes me really not want to go to that platform anymore. Now, YouTube, on the other hand, I hardly turn on my big TV in my, in, in our room. I'm always on my phone or my iPad. And like you said, I'm, like right now I'm going through and I'm studying to, uh, to be a private pilot. And so I'm getting served up all these different ads, but that's what I'm doing. So what makes, you know, as agencies are, are looking to get more clients, what's kind of a formula that they can kind of follow 
you know, let's let's just talk about YouTube. Let's not you know talk about the other platforms. Keep it really simple. What's kind of a formula that you found that works? So a couple of thoughts. There's one. I always say a successful video ad campaign depends on three things. One, can you create the right video? Can you put that video in front of the right audience? And can you give that audience the right offer? Like when you get all those three things to line up at the right time, you get the right results, meaning your views are turning into leads and you're, you're getting buyers or custom clients from it. And so I think really just focusing on like who is your audience and, and targeting them appropriately, make sure that you have the right message and that you do have a valuable offer that you can, you know, give something away in exchange for name, email, phone number. And then I mean, we can dive into any one of those aspects that you want to, but like, overall that's the right for That's the framework. Yeah. Let's talk about the right. I think people understand kind of the right audience that I've, I've beat them over the head for 10 years about picking a niche and really kind of drilling down. So let's talk about kind of the right video. Okay. Break it that down for us. Yeah. I can kind of build this around a story. So we had a client who she was a business coach and she helps women grow their business. And she came to us. She's like, Hey, I've got this great offer. So her, her offer was they would go to like, they get access to this advanced training where they could learn her step, her five step process to growing their corporate, getting corporate clients. And then, so the, and it's an application. So in order to get access to that training, you had to fill out an application. It was like a 10, 10 question. Wow. 10 questions just yeah, to get a piece a of content. It was, it was a That's lot. So, <laughs> it was. And uh, yeah, I get, I get it. But she had a, a Good promise, good claim. And then the application, they unlock that. So then they watch the training. And then after that training, she invites people to schedule a call with her. So she had this funnel already in place. And she's like, I just, I want to leverage YouTube because, well, you know, it's the largest search engine. Facebook wasn't working very well for her. And she's like, but the problem is like, I got it. There's multiple avatars. And I don't know which video to make. So we have this concept called bullets before cannonballs. And what that means is like, before we go all in on a cannonball or like this high end video production, let's make sure that we have the message that does land with the market, that we could target the right audience and that your offer is actually converting. So we created these very simple video ads and we differentiated them based off the problem that people were like that the women were having. So like the first problem was how do you quit? your corporate job and start your business. The second problem what was... The, was a solution by my program? <laughs> well, the solution... No, so there's a difference between the solution and the okay, product, right, right. right? So first solution, let me go through the problems and I can talk through the solution. Perfect. So how to beat your corporate job and grow your business. Two, how can you get more clients? And three, how can you grow your consulting business? So those are the problems that her audience was facing. Mm -hmm. Her solution was instead of trying to get, you know, 20 to 30 individual clients, go after corporate clients. Cause one corporate client can pay enough to of like the same as like maybe five smaller individual mm -hmm. clients. So her solution was corporate clients. And then obviously she had her program and experience that they could get access to. And so, yeah, it's, it's we tested those different problems and we could see when we ran the ads how many applications came through from this video versus like video B versus video C. And so we really tested these simple videos and come to find out like for like one of the videos, our cost per application was like 700 bucks. The other one was like 350 bucks. And then we had one one that was a hundred and fifty, a hundred fifty dollar application slash book call, and she's like, "Okay, well, we we found our winner. We found the messaging. It's it's within her goals, and then we that kind of gave us enough confidence to you know create a higher produced video ad. And when we launched that higher end video, her cost per app dropped from a hundred and fifty down to like forty five bucks for an application, okay. and so." Uh, Really, as far as the right video testing, making sure that you're nailing the problem of the audience and testing that 
to make sure that you're you're getting the right results. Yeah. Walk us through kind of like break the down the winning video. What was like the hook? Like, did they say, hey, I wish I knew this or on ways that, that whatever. That hook was, would you like to quit your corporate job and start your own company? Was like basically the hook. And so what's nice with that is if that's not you, especially with YouTube ads, you're going to skip the ad. Yep. Because you're just not interested in it. But there is a small select group of women who like, that's what they're looking for. That's what we, they want. And they'll keep watching. So you got the hook and then you got the, you know, uh, showcase the problem of what happens if you don't quit your corporate job and if you don't, aren't able to start your business. And then they go through the solution section, which is get corporate clients. There's a credibility section where it's like, why should I trust you? Like what, what have you done in the past that, that would build confidence in me to go through your program or your solution? Then we have like a section that talks about her product or her program details and then the call to action. So uh, break it down a little bit more, just so we know the order. So hook, what was the kind of like the next part? So there's the hook and there's the problem, like the hook and the brush. So you get their attention, then what's the problem? And with this, we kind of combine the hook and the problem. So it's like, how do I quit my corporate job and start a business. So we kind of walk through like the problem of not solving that problem. The problem, yeah, the problem of not solving, solving where you're at. Mm -hmm. So hook, problem, and then solution. And the solution is not about your product. The solution is what, like for her, it's the solution is to get corporate clients. Yep. And, and then, then probably the credibility piece. Then credibility and we can, so I think of video ads like Lego blocks, like you can kind of move things back and forth, but I like to write and shoot our video ads in these kind of sections because it allows us some flexibility to take things out, move things around. And what's nice is when you run ads, you can see how long they watch the video for. Like you got that audience retention graph and you can see if it drops, if we need to move things around. So yeah, so you got hook, problem, solution. You could then move to credibility or you could move over. I call it like the product overview. Like what is the, the offer that you have that you're inviting them to take? And then you have the call to action. And the last thing is I like to leave people on a high note. So I don't like to leave the video of just asking somebody to do something. I like to end it on like what is like some words of inspiration or something humorous that we could throw on the end of it. Like outtakes of you messing yeah, up, out, recording yeah. it. Exactly. What can like what can leave people feeling good or smiling at the end? Yeah. My my team has started to do kind of like outtakes. Cause like mm -hmm. and when I usually record videos, it's by myself. And it's really very easy. That's how I've done it for the past 10 years. But if I have someone like on the other side of that camera, oh my God, the outtakes are like, oh, this sucks. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> like it's just like I can't yeah. concentrate. And it's pretty funny yeah. on, on the outtakes that happen. <laughs> I think sometimes when it comes to advertising, some people take themselves way too serious. So I run our own ads for our own agency. And one of the ads I created, you know, we had our video ad framework that people could download and I you know, invite them to take action. And then it's, the camera stays on me and I'm like, actually, you know what? Don't click on the ad. Don't, don't click on that link. It's probably not for you. Just don't do it. And so I was just kind of having fun with that. And I went to a conference, I went to this conference I was speaking at and somebody's like, Hey, I've seen your YouTube ads. And I'm like, Oh, awesome. He's like, yeah, I'm on your list. I'm like, sweet. Like, which ad did, did you see? He's like, honestly, I don't remember what ad it was. I just remember you told me not to click on it. And that made me want to click. So, uh, making sure you have some fun with the ads is important. I, there was one video that I did. And I wanted to do it as like the Dollar Shave Club parody. And at first it started out serious. And then toward the end, I was just like, whatever. Like I literally was like, I couldn't remember my line that I wanted to say. So I basically looked at the camera. I was like, and I'm trying to like think of it, right? I'm looking at it. And then I'm like, why are you here? Like, why are you here? Go click the link. Like, stop watching me. This is freaking me yeah. out. Like, like that kind of stuff. And like people still talk about that part. They're like, oh, that was pretty funny. And it was like unscripted. <laughs> like, yeah. 
And then from then I was like, I can't script any videos anymore. It's just like, have that idea and then just, you know, turn it on, see, see if it works. Now, yeah. when you guys are running ads for people, do you test it out in shorts at all first? And like, no, no, you just test out with ads. So I can tell you, I can tell you this, and this is going contrary to what like, Google says and what everybody's saying, because everyone's like, oh, your ads need to be short. Leads should be 15 seconds, no more than 30 seconds. And it's funny because, you know, we're, we're a Google premier agency. So we get Google reps with our, some of the client accounts that we're working with. And we, every once in a while, we get feedback from the Google reps like, hey, your ads are like two to three minutes long. You need to make those 15 seconds and 30 seconds because people's attention spans really short and we've tried this so many times and it never works out I, uh, and we'll be like okay we'll test it out we'll do our ads versus your ads let's see which videos get the most leads and like the lowest cost per lead and every single time our two to three minute video ads will beat out the 15 to 20 second ads and the reason why is like, you don't have enough time to tell a story no, or an emotional connection in 15 or 20 seconds, at least for somebody to want to take action on it. I think they're, right? they think that will work if you already have a huge brand, like a Nike, a Starbucks, right? They don't need to say much. They need, just need to show, just do it. Do you want to just do it? Okay, I just want to do it. And then I also <laughs> think they're doing it for themselves, the bastards, right? Like they want to show more ads. So, and they want to keep people longer on the platform. Yeah. So they're like, keep it shorter, right? Like it, like if you get my attention in an ad and I'm like, Hey, do you want to know what's working for all the best agency owners in the world? And then like, I pause, I'm like, well, let me tell you. And let me, <laughs> like, I can't tell you in 15 seconds. And right. as long as you're engaging with them, it'll work. But you have to yeah. build that, like none of us, you know, hardly any of us have built a brand where it's like so recognized like a Nike or, you know, Starbucks or whatever it is, yeah. right? So, and I, guess, and I guess it depends on what your goals are, right? So if you're looking just to grow the brand and you're measuring uh, impressions and views and view rate, yeah, the shorter 15 to 30 seconds will win. But if you're like, if you need more than just views and you're looking to get traffic to your site, get leads or have somebody fill a 10 question application, they're going to need, I'd say at minimum 60 seconds, ideally two to three yeah. minutes. Now, does YouTube work, you know, like how shit book, I mean, Facebook used to work. <laughs> I have a, I hate Facebook. Someone hacked my account. I still hate them. But um, how they used to work is like, you would get them to watch a video and then like you're building a campaign to watch other videos. Can you do that with YouTube? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you're talking about like remarketing, right? So there's a couple of remarketing audiences that you can leverage with YouTube. One is anyone who's been to your website, you can show them this ad. Anyone who's on your email list, you can show them an ad. What's cool though, is like, if you have a large YouTube channel, if you have, basically you need to have an audience size over a thousand people. So if you have over a thousand YouTube subscribers or a thousand YouTube views and you can go back as far as 540 days, but you, yeah, you can remarket the people in any one of those four categories. And can you choose think, what they want to see when you want to see it? Yeah. So you could say anybody who's watched this video of mine on my YouTube channel or this playlist of videos, mm -hmm. I want them to see this specific ad that, go, you know, that, Got that it. Invites people. I like that, that you can say, hey, if they watch this particular video that's around this particular challenge, this is the ad. I like that. Good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Glad. Well, amazing. Um, is there anything I didn't ask you that you think the audience needs to know about, Jake? I guess maybe just touch on the, the, the mindset of creating the ad. I think, you know, I think crappy ads are all about the, the business or the product. And great ads are all about the audience and the problem that they have and how you can make their life better. And so I think as far as like getting in the right mindset to create an ad, I think if you, if you can come, like get, your, get yourself in the mindset of like, how can I, one, pick your audience, right? Who is the audience that you've enjoyed working with the most? And then if you had two minutes 
to share something with that person, how would you get their attention? What would you share with them to build trust? And what would be like an offer you could give them that would make their lives better? And I think if you can come from that state of mind and from that mindset and a little bit of a playful mindset too, how can we have fun with this opportunity? That's like when the magic happens. And that's when you can create ads that people actually want to watch. Awesome. Well, uh, Jake, thanks so much for coming on the show. I know we've known each other for a long time, so it's good to reconnect and, and finally have you on the show. And if you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to be around other amazing people that are running agencies and be in a community of like-minded people that can really see the things you might not be able to see, I'd love for all of you to go check out agencymastery360.com. Check it out. And until next time, have a swank day. 